Today's home workout with your qualified trainer, Lucy Winderreed, is my 10 minute full body workout at home. So for this, I'm gonna always be showing you two options, a high impact as well as a low impact. All the moves are standing, we need no equipment and we've got no repeaters. So it's a really lovely workout. We're gonna start off with a quick little warm up and mobility. So if you're ready, let's get started. So just simply follow along. The first move we're gonna do is just give me 10 of these side steps. So we're just going laterally from one side to the other, draw the arms in at the same time. And the point of this is gonna slowly increase your core body temperature. Now take your arms up, give me 10 of these hamstring curls. It's also gonna to help to mobilize through all your major joints as well. That's good, keeping that going. And now just give me 10 of these punches across. And remember, if you don't want me teaching, if you don't want the audio, simply press that mute button and you can listen to your favorite music. So let's just keep going. And that is now you warmed up. So what we're gonna do, we're now gonna get straight into the workout. I'm gonna show you first of all, so just watch. These are your two options. High impact is doing running on the spot, punch the arms up, then in front. If you want the low impact version, follow on the right. It's a knee lift and then you're just alternating arms up and in front. So let's get ready and let's take it away. So first move, we're doing a duration of 45 seconds. The timer bar in the middle represents that. You can see your 10 minute countdown clock in the top right hand corner. We've got no repeaters, so it's a really lovely workout. Full body moves is gonna fly by. So let's keep focused. So if you're doing your high impact, land nice and softly, put power between each of those punches as you punch in front and punch up. If you're following the low impact, keep the upper body nice and straight for me, really engage those core tummy muscles. That's good, keeping that going all the way till we've reached that 45 second timer on there. Okay, that's good. So just march it out now and we'll have a little look at the next move coming up. So for this one, we're doing a side step. We're going from one side to the other. If you're doing the high impact, you're adding it with a hop and then you're just gonna hold for a second from one side to the other. If you're taking the low impact, step it nice and wide. And again, 45 seconds on this move. And you can make these moves as powerful and dynamic as you want. If you're doing the high impact, jump hard, harder, higher, jump wider. If you're doing the low impact, make the move bigger, make it more dynamic. And of course, the great thing here is we are using weight, we're using body weight. As I always say, body weight is still strength training, it's still toning, but it's safer on your joints. That's one of the best ways to work with weights is always using your own body weight. All right, that's good. Keeping that going all the way till we've reached the top on there, perfect. So let's just march out, take a deep breath in, deep breath out and we'll just have a look at the next move coming up. So high impact is you do a ski squat jump. So it's a squat, double jump, and then squat. If you're doing it on the right, then just follow along. You're gonna do four marches and then give me a small squat, four marches, and then squat that out. And the great thing is with this workout, you can change this to work for you. So if you want to perhaps do half, say 20 seconds doing high impact, then you can do the last 25 seconds doing a low impact. That's it, keeping that going. So if you're doing the one on the left, the high impact, it's a double jump, then deep squat, double jump, deep squat. If you're following on the low impact, you can now make those squats a little bit harder if you want to make them a little bit deeper, add that march. Always make sure those knees are way behind the line of your toes. That's good and just march it out. Okay, so we'll have a look at the next move. So next one's a fun one. We're doing shuffling feet. So if you're following the high impact, you are taking both the feet off the ground and we're gonna do rolling arms and then we're just doing arms out up to the side. If you're following the low impact, you'll just alternate, take one heel off the ground, then do these arms straight up to the ceiling. So just have fun with this. And also you can see there, this is part of a four week challenge. It's completely free. If you want this, I don't need an email. I can just grab it from my website. I'll leave the details down below in the description. So it's just keep going. So you can see the high impact, both the feet you're doing this, so it is still high impact. If you're doing the low one, you're just alternating, taking one heel off the ground. 
that's good and just keep rolling with those arms and punch the arms up or we're punching them in front if you're doing the high impact it's good keeping that focused all right well done so let's have a look at move five so we're now halfway through this one we're doing four skaters jumps and then four star jumps so again, you've got your high or low impact option you choose. So you do that jump for four, stepping that foot behind and then four star jumps or you're just tapping that foot out to the side. Then back to those skaters lunges. And again, you can see all these moves are full body moves. And the great thing is this is going to be good for your bone health, your joint health, your metabolic health, your heart health. And that's it, keeping that going. So well over halfway on this one. And it might be that what you want to do is do the next move, do one move low impact, then the next move high impact. There's so many fun ways that you can change this workout around. All right, well done. Okay, so just march out, take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Just have this as your recovery time. Now have a look at your next move. We're gonna do 10 sprints on the spot then do 10 um, four side hops or you're going to do 10 marches and four side steps. So again, you choose, really put power in each of those moves and you count yourself. The idea is just do a ratio of doing 10 of the fast feet and then you're doing four hops or side steps. Key thing is, even when you're doing the high impact, always try and just land as softly as you can and really use the arms with this one. That's good. So it's a nice lateral move. So working the body sideways movement as well, which is really important to always work your body in the three different planes of motion. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. And really, if you're doing that sprint on the spot, I want you now to just sprint even faster. And if you're doing the march, march that faster. All right, well done. So let's have a look at the next move. Next one is we're doing two star jumps and two straight leg kicks. And again, you've got your low impact options. So let's get ready and take that up. So this is move seven out of 10 now. So kick and then take it two star jumps, one kick, two star jumps. That's good. And really focus, especially as you're doing that kick on keeping the upper body nice and straight. By doing that means we're naturally then really engaging those deep core abdominal muscles. And again, still try and aim to land softly. That's good. And this is part of a series. So we started off week one, we do a six minute, eight minute, this is 10 minutes. And then next week we've got a 12 minute one, but you can add these all together as well. So let's keep that focus, doing really well. Kick that leg and then take those arms out to the side. And then just march out. All right, well done. So we'll have a look at move eight, eight out of 10. Now this one, you swing the arms across and we're just hopping from one side to the other or we're doing this as a step. So really lovely move this. And actually this is something many years ago when I was in the army, I mean in 1990, so we're talking about nearly 30 years ago. This is similar to a move that they used to train us with our physical education. They used to call this one tabbing, really, really powerful move. And it really engages through your core, through your abdominals. It's a really lovely, dynamic, full body move. Keeping that going. And by adding in the arms is what makes this really challenging. But you can see here, we're working near enough every single muscle, every single joint as well. That's good, last little bit. All right, well done. Okay, so just march out for me. Again, take a deep breath in, deep breath out. We've just got two moves left, so let's just keep going. And next move coming up, I just call this a netball jump. We're just going to step from one side to the other. Give me a jump or give me a calf raise. So you've got your high, low impact options. You choose. But again, make this nice and dynamic. Take that step nice and wide. And reach up. If you're doing the low impact, reach up nice and high. And if you can even hold on that calf raise for a couple of seconds, that's just going to really work your core, your abdominals harder because you're using it for balance. If you're following on the left, then really jump nice and high. That's good, keeping that going. 
and do come and find me on social media just let me know how you're getting on with your training and also if you've got any questions about your training do let me know in the comments down below I try and answer as many as I possibly can that's good and well done all right just march out and we'll have a look at your final move coming up so this is move 10 of 10 and what we're doing here is really lovely one you're going to do a side jump but you're going to really pull those arms down then extend them back up or again equally you're doing it as a step so just keep going from one side to the other and visualize where you're working and just think what you and I are doing right now we're making your body stronger we're also making your mind stronger you are being powerful you're taking control of your health and I've been teaching for nearly 30 years now and as a qualified trainer my key messaging has always been about our health is our everything it's good and keep going and I have got lots of blogs all free on my website lwrfitness.com from running to recipes motivation fitness hacks everything so if you want a bit of inspiration do go and have a look lwrfitness.com blogs all right that's good and we're nearly at the top with that one all right just now march out so now what is important we're just going to keep going because I want to slowly bring that heart rate down. It's important we don't just stop straight away. We just want to complete that full 10 minutes. So that is now your 10 minute workout complete. And please do share it if you like it. Well done, there is your high five. Now, as always, if you want to do a little bit more toning, then I have got my five minute playlist there. Also, if you are now finished for the day, then I've got my cool down stretch. I'm also gonna leave the link in the description down below. So really well done. And remember what you and I today have just done is we have invested in your future health. So I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.